Now what we're going to get to is cutting it down all the way to the desired length, which is 1.8, which is the one guard on this wall five-star scene. And I always start on the top, just for my personal preference, around this, this area on top, just to get, to get it started. And we're going to come down, laying the clipper completely flat on the head. And bring it all the way down. And I mean, up to this point, you know, this is pretty much self explanatory. You know, for barbers who've been cutting for a while, this is fairly easy to do. You just cut down, always comb through. You always want to cut and comb, comb and cut, comb and cut, comb and cut, just to make sure you're going in a nice rhythm and you're actually making sure that you're getting all the strains facing the correct way. So we don't have any spots or anything like that. Whenever you're cutting down, you always make sure you protect the ear by folding it over. Now what we're doing here over the top is just kind of laying it down. Laying it all the way flat. Make sure you lay the teeth of the clippers kind of like on the balls of their feet. And you just lay it all the way down. And once again, you always lay it down, comb, lay it down, comb, lay it down, comb, kind of lay it down, comb. And it's all supposed to be in rhythm one right after the other. It's very soothing for the client for everything to be in rhythm. They know when you're nervous, they know when you can, uh, they can feel it. Okay, now we're gonna get to the part where we start doing the lineup. I feel this is the most important part of the cut. Most people are just fascinated with the lineup, whether they, the haircut is good or not, most clients don't know most times. They're all focused mainly on their line and you know, just making sure it's nice, clean, crisp without the hairline being taken back. Uh, most people do not like their hairline taken back. Some do, but a majority of people you will come across will not like their lineup being pushed back. Uh, what we're gonna get into today, I'm gonna have two techniques, which will, one will be the, the compass technique where basically I use like a, um, I use my hand kind of like a compass and protractor technique, kind of like uh, you used in art class maybe when you were, when you were younger, where it's got the, the little point where it's braced and it's got the pencil attached to the other side and it, it kind of makes a full circle. But as we know, half of a circle is a, is a perfect C. So I'll be showing you how I translate that from the art classroom to the barbering profession and it really makes a very simple, easy to grasp outline. And uh, I'm gonna show you how we go ahead and do that. And I, I feel as if once you grasp this technique, you practice it, it will make your life just a whole lot easier. During this, um, during this I want you to concentrate on two things. My, my finger placement. This is my finger that I'll use a lot during the whole edge up. I want you to um, follow this along with following what the clipper does, just so you can kind of get the technique. And I also use this finger, you know, both of these fingers. One, I use more than the other, but I always, always want you to kind of focus on where I place those, because I use them as a brace to give me that, that, that calming. You know, sometimes cutting somebody's hair can be a little nervy, a little nerve wracking. And um, so I use that to kind of calm and brace. And you know, a client may sneeze or may fall asleep or anything like that. If you always have a part of your hand touching their body, you'll be able to feel that and pull the clippers off. So that's important for safety purposes. And also, you know, it just gives you that still hand. A lot of times people say, oh, I don't have the hand for it or I don't have the eye for it. Those are what I call myths in this barbering profession. And um, I just know a way that it, it that is better. So if you were, watching this DVD hoping that you would find something that would give you the confidence that you, you may have not had before. You know, this is definitely something that you can use, practice, and I promise it will, it will develop the skills needed 
to uh, become a master barber, and especially when it, re when it regards to the outline. Okay, as we get started on the outline shape or portion of this haircut, I want to focus on right now, just once again, as I pointed out earlier, my finger placement. I'm going to place my pointer finger to kind of cuff his ear out of the way as we do the back of this lineup. First, I'm going to do it with the clippers off so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about, and then we'll go ahead and perform it, and you'll see the drastic difference in how it helps me create a nice crisp line at the perimeter of his hairline. All right, here we go. Off. See how I take this one finger and I place it over the ear. That kind of gives me everything I need to see right now. I go ahead and move my hand up, place it on here, just like this. And as you see, as I'm coming down, I'll be able to make a nice, crisp, clean line, just like this, okay? I got the finger again, you see that? As we come all the way down. And as you can see, even though I'm not on the ear no more, I still put my finger here. That's my brace that keeps me still. And I come back like this. And once again, this right here is the main point. You always want to make sure you have that connected. It keeps me still. Like I see a lot of barbers go like this. And it's kind of hard to keep still like that. So you kind of want to make sure you have that, that brace. Okay. Next part. We're going to go and cuff the ear with the other finger. Just to clear away. And then we're going to put this finger connected to this. So it's all connected. And then we're just going to kind of come around using the corner of the blade. But once again, I have this finger connected to the ear. This finger touching this one just to kind of give me that brace and as I go around, okay? This side, once again, I always have this finger extended just to kind of give me that brace. Now I have it back here. I'm on the front side, I have it back here. Okay, now we're on the opposite side. Same technique, same thing, opposite side. What I'm going to do now is instead of using my, my one finger that I used on, my, on the strong side, on the weak side, I'm gonna take the same point, same finger, cuff the ear, and I'm gonna connect this finger, as I always told you, always focus on this finger. I'm gonna connect it to this, and that's gonna give me that brace, and I'm gonna come down and do that. Now, clippers on, palm it, same thing, always pay attention to these two fingers right here, palming it, then I'm going to place the finger on here as I go down like I did on the other side. And you got your line on that side. Let me go back and clean it up. And we're going to continue. So we're right here, got that. And all I'm doing is just bringing my wrist around with the corner of that blade. And once again, my finger is connected. That's my brace. So I'm just going to bring it down. Now I put my finger on the ear. Stretch it a little bit. Straight down. And back up. Okay, then I go in, clean it up. Once again, always cuffing the ear with the finger. Right here again, cuffing that. Just kind of cleaning up. Now we're going to move forward to the just the back of the uh, sideburn or beard. And I uh, want to show you where I place my fingers and just and we're just going to come down and make a simple line right here. So what I would do at first is I'll kind of move this ear back a little bit, connect my fingers right here, 
and then just kind of come down. And as I get down lower, I extend my finger in. That way you see the brace starts in and we just come down. And then we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll take that off and I'll do this and we'll just keep it. Take the ear back. Cuff it right here, bring it on. Right down here. Nice little line on the back here. So a line right on the back. Real easy. Other side. Same thing. Extend the finger. Place the clipper on there. Put it on the ear. Come on up. Once again, place it right here. Finger behind the ear. It's my brace. Straight down. Now we have a line on both sides. Okay, now we're going to get to the beard. And this is the part where I say it makes the perfect C. We're going to use the compass technique to create the perfect C. So from here down to here will be a perfect C. What I'm going to do first is I will stretch the skin with my thumb here and I will put the first line in here. Pay attention to this to this finger again. Pay attention to this finger. I'll place this on the cheek. I have the cheek stretched with my thumb on my right hand and I'll place a line right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the top. Place my finger again right here on the eyebrow and I'm going to put a line right here. So we'll have a line here and a line here and all we're going to do is connect both of them together. And I'm going to use my finger and place it here and draw the line with the corner of my blade all the way up with my finger obviously touching right here all the way up and all the way down and that'll be done and that's just like the compass would do on a piece of paper place it draw it around halfway creates the perfect C demonstration Thumb, finger, line. Line right there. Finger. Line right here. Okay, you see that line? You see that line? Finger. See, we're getting there halfway up. This finger the whole time is connected to the cheek. Now, as we get right here, I'm going to switch and use this finger to place here and this finger at the top. So this finger is down here, this is at the top. So I got two braces. And it makes it easier for me to go up and down because I'm braced. And I'm just kind of letting the clipper fall. All right. And there you have it. Then you can go back and clean up any little pieces of hair that you see. Natural line. That's what it looked like before. Just outlined. And if you look at that closely, that looks like a perfect C. Okay, now we're on the other side. Same technique. Other side. Minor changes. 
same concept, same technique. We're gonna start here, thumb on the cheek, finger on, finger on the cheek as well. Put the line in. So we have our line up here, finger, put the line in. You have your bottom line, top line, all you're doing is connecting them. Finger placement gives you that balance. I take the blade and all I'm doing is just going up. And I'm coming down and going up because I have this finger placed on the cheek. See how we are there, that part? Comb it out, get the strands, come straight on up. As you can see, there's not a lot of hair falling off here because we are strictly on the line, the natural hairline. So, we just go on up, continue to go, continue to go, continue to go. Got the finger placed here, continue to go back and forth, back and forth. Finger placement again. Same thing as the other side. Perfect C. Maybe need to touch up just a little bit. Same technique. Just touch up. Clean up. Little hairs. Done. Okay, now what we will get to are the boxes. That's what they're referred to in this barber industry as the boxes. Which means the top point of the hairline to the bottom point of the side. So what I'm gonna do is show you the technique for how to just put this nice line right here. How it will look is like this. I'll have my thumb here stretching the skin. It always helps when you need a nice line to stretch the skin. I'll put my back two fingers on my thumb to kind of give me that stability, give me that brace, just like this. And I will put this line right here like that real simple these two fingers my thumb right there two fingers connected back to it relaxing on the thumb that's the brace skin stretched clipper to the head and I can go off and on just like that because I have my fingers connected to my thumb that's my brace and it helps me because I'm relaxed it helps me keep still all right thumb fingers Clipper to the head. Real easy. Line done. Now we're on the other side. What I'm going to do, comb the hair down. Same thing. Use this one finger. Place my brace. Clipper to the head. Same line. Brace. Clipper. On down, brace, clip it. We got the line done. All right, now we're going to move to the front. And what I want you to concentrate on here is this my posture. I'm straight up and down, no leaning in, leaning across, none of that. Straight up and down. Comb it straight down. What I'm going to do, extend my finger, extend this finger to the forehead, bring the clipper. We're going to put this first line right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to set the table for everything else. So we're going to mark a line off right here. And then what I want you to concentrate on is when I'm going to the right side, I'm using the right part of the blade. Because that will be, I'll do a little bit at each time until I get to the corner. And that's for the right side. So we're going to start in the middle, place that first line, and that way we're going to take a step back and look at it so you can kind of see the visual of what I'm talking about. First line, right in the front. See that? First line, straight above the nose, middle of the forehead. Now we're going to continue with the rest. 
Now as you can see, you have your point here and in the middle here. All we're trying to do is take this line straight there without taking hair off. Turn this head just a little bit. Once again, my body will be on the right side. Anytime you're doing anything on the right side of the head, your body must be on the right side of the head. Right corner. Take the line all the way across. All the way across. Now as you see, as you do little by little, getting to here is a whole lot easier. As you can see it with the right corner, once again, finger always, always placed on the forehead. Continue, continue, continue till you get to the corner. Okay? Now that we have that, you just kind of cleaning up, touching up. We have that. That's the front line. Natural, no pushback, sharp, clean. We're going to go to the other side now. Now we're on the other side. Same concept, same thing, same technique. We start in the middle here. We're going to start in the middle here. We're going to go using the left part of the blade all the way to the left side, top of the left corner, right there. So we're going to start here, finish there. Finger, once again, will be on the forehead. Finger will be on the forehead. Start in the center. Take little by little as you go over. Little by little. Continue to go over. Until you reach the top here. See the left corner of the blade. All right, so we have the line, left corner, the whole time. The importance here is having this finger on there, and I'll show you why. There's two reasons. It helps you keep your balance, keep straight, and also, too, if a client head nods, you'll feel it with your finger first, because a lot of times people will be lining up the front, and a client will doze off on you or fall asleep or move his head. The point of the finger is to always be able to feel that. So. If he moves or anything like that, then if I need to push his head back, bring it down. See how I can also stretch the skin with that finger. I can stretch the skin and place it on there. Stretch it, boom. Stretch it. Things like that. So now we have the front of the line nice and straight, all natural. We got our boxes. We have our C on both sides. And that should pretty much cover everything. I mean, there's some cleaning up you can you can do, obviously with the razor and things like that. But.